What's up everybody? It's Crystal Hops here and today I want to show you guys how to actually send over books that you've downloaded on your computer or ebooks that you download on your computer and send it over to your Kindle device. Now this is a very it's not that long of a method, however at first it may seem very tedious. However, once you guys get the use or get the hang of it, you guys will really um, learn to actually enjoy the method, enjoy the process. So let's get on with the video. The three things you guys want to do is have your Amazon account up and running have your email account or any email website you guys up i have gmail and have an application called calibre up um just to convert your books from epub to mobi since that's the format that the kindle uh devices can only accept so let's get on with the video so this isn't an official step however if you guys do uh if you guys need to convert your book over to mobi uh, i use an application called calibre that is widely known and basically what this does is basically convert it over to mobi so I click on it and it looks a little bit confusing. However, all you want to do is go to the top left, click add books after downloading your EPUB book. And I have this EPUB book that I've downloaded on a website called Best, Best Surf Cold. And I click on the book, I click open. And I already have it, so um, you just don't have to worry about that one. But basically what I do is I right click, or you guys have to right click once you add the book. Go to convert books, convert individually, and then change it to Mobi and then click OK. I already have it in Mobi. However, um, if you guys don't, then make sure it is a Mobi. And another thing I guys, you guys want to do is to save it to your disk. So um, I have this in Mobi right here. And what I do is after I convert it, I click right click. And then I click save to disk, save to disk right here. And then I made a folder called Mobi's and I click on it. And I just click select folder and boom. I'll show you guys the significance of that save to disk thing. But that's the first thing you guys want to do. Um, convert your book and send it over to a specific folder to actually uh, send it over to your email so the first thing you guys want to do is go on amazon and that was an uh, that was like an unofficial step i'll put this time tab down below to actually skip to this amazon part but anyway the first thing you guys want to do is go to amazon and make sure that your guys's email account is the same on amazon and the same on your kindle device if that's not the case then it will not send over to the right email and or it just won't send at all so make sure you guys register your kindle device with the same email that you guys use for your Amazon account so uh, to get to the first step. And the first thing I just want to do is go to the Amazon website, click the three stacks on the left and scroll all the way down to your account after logging in. Once you reach your account, you should click your devices and content with uh, out of all these options. So click your devices and content. Once you reach your devices and content, click manage devices over here, which is an option. And once you go to manage devices, click devices on the top right here. It should show like this. Once you click the devices tab on the top of your manage your content, it should show a registered Kindle uh, device with like the name of the Kindle, whatever. And this is what I said about um, connecting, having the same email on your Kindle and registering that with this with your Amazon account. Uh, if you guys want to do it, if you guys don't do that, it won't show a Kindle device registered to your account. So make sure that is correct and click on the name of the Kindle. Uh, after you guys click on it, make sure you guys go over to like your email and it should show like your, um, it should show your Kindle email and it shows for me, Chris Hobbs at Kindle.com. You guys can always change your name, but I click and copy that email. And then before you guys actually go to your email website, um, you guys want to make sure that your personal document settings are actually uh, approved or verified. So you guys want to verify this as well. So. If it says verify then verify and it shows like a whole bunch of it, it basically verifies that this is the type of email that you guys want to use on your kindle and yeah just make sure that is uh, verified after going to preferences over here click on preferences it should reach here and then you get to the actual good stuff so what you guys want to do is when you're on your gmail or whatever email website uh, you guys use go to, to the go to the left and click compose what is this to uh, just paste down the email that you guys use or whatever email you guys use for your Kindle uh, Not your actual email just your Kindle email and then skip the subject I know a lot of people say to use something in the subject to convert it or whatever, but it doesn't really work and What you guys want to do is go to your actual message part and scroll all the way down to the attached files or whatever you, wherever you guys can attach your files and Basically, I can't find the Mobi file anywhere, but because I saved it to the disk um, all I have to do is go to documents over here and after I made a uh, Mobi thing not a Mobi thing but a Mobi folder I basically can just click on the book here 
click on the book here and I click the Moby document here. So I pick open. And you guys are probably thinking because how this is really confusing. However, once you guys get the hang of it, it should be really easy. And then click send. As it says, oh, you need a subject, just click over here. You guys don't really need one. And once it's sent, then you're good. However, if this is your first time doing this, um, you guys will actually have to verify that it is you. So um, if you guys are doing this method for the first time, it should uh, you will get an email saying, oh, verify that this is your account that you guys want to use on your email. And you guys want to click verify and you guys don't have to do that ever again. And after that, yeah, you're pretty much done. Um, the book should pretty much appear on your Kindle. Make sure your Kindle has its Wi-Fi on instead of AirPlay mode or offline. And after that, you should be good and it should be downloading onto your Kindle. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hopefully you guys can subscribe and like the video and all that YouTube stuff. So see ya.